Hi, I'm Vic Bearcroft. Uh, welcome to this little uh, sketch tutorial uh, in which I'm going to sketch, do a head study of a fox using a black card, orange, black and white coloured pencils. Now I've always found that uh, using a black surface, um, bit canvas, uh, black pastel paper or in this case uh, black card uh, can be a very very good way of creating um, you know, relatively simply uh, a really atmospheric sketch. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have um, just three colours here. Um, this is an orange, orange glaze, uh, just a, a standard black, ivory black I think, and um, a, a white, arctic white. So just three coloured pencils, and you may be wondering why we need the black when we're working on black card, but I'll show you that uh, as we go through. Uh, so essentially for this little tutorial what I'm going to do is uh, quite a basic sketch uh, showing that even with uh, you know quite limited uh, effort you can create something really uh, atmospheric so um it's going to be a fox uh, i've got to start with the orange uh always best i think when you're preparing your sketch not to go in with too many details too soon just get some fairly simple shapes to start with so there's the ear back of the neck um the head down to the brow and the nose. So these are quite angular shapes to start with. And then we'll build them up as we work through. The eye placement roughly about here. And the chin going onto there. So that's fairly light. You might not be able to see it too well at this point, but fairly light outline, if you like, of a box. And again, what I'm going to do now is still with the orange coloured pencil, I'm just going to start to make some more definitive forms, roughly following that outline, but again, not too strong so that uh, I can't erase it if it's way off. You know, if it's way off, you can uh, take a, a needable eraser, a putty rubber, and take some of it off. But I don't want to have to do that, so I'm going to keep it as light as possible. Obviously the heavier your coloured pencil, the more difficult it is to take off. And what we're after is a kind of a glow using this, uh, this method. Almost like a sunrise or sunset, you know, the time of day perhaps when the fox might be out and about either, of course, sunrise, sunset, during the dark hours and so on. So a rough idea of the back of the neck and let's stay below the ear and we'll start to sketch in some of the clumps of fur layers if you like and we're going to have it fading out. It's going to be a sketch so it's not going to be highly detailed all the way through just We'll fade out here and there, concentrate all the details around the face. So you can see what I'm doing is actually almost blocking in the forms with the orange pencil, but leaving a lot of space in between the, the, the scribble sketching. This is basically scribble sketching, uh, which is shading when the pencil doesn't leave the paper. So it's moving back and forwards all the time. And that scribble sketching allows us to uh, be nice and loose, create some spaces in between the actual scribbles and some spaces in between the blocks of scribble. Using the black paper to create uh, or begin to create shadows for us. Now obviously some of this will have to be erased from the initial outline that we don't need but uh, that's hopefully the, the most we'll have to take out. Okay, time to switch to the white pencil now. Uh, our fox has uh, black ears or very dark brown ears at the back. And we're going to use the white just to create a, a sort of greyish highlight around the back of the ear. Inside of the ears are pretty much white-ish fur, whitish hairs. So we're going to use the white not too strongly. Again, as I always suggest when you're starting your sketch, 
keep it fairly light, not too intense, in case you want to change it, in case you want to go over it with another colour or something like that. I notice most of this I'm using what I call the sketch hold, which is holding your pencil between index and middle finger, steadying it in your palm like that, and hold gripping it with your thumb, using the pencil on the side, especially with this sort of scribble technique. So we're going to sketch in some of the white fur in the fox's neck, going down to the chest. Again, let it fade out. But what I'm trying to focus on more than anything are the, the sort of um, layers of fur, the clumps of fur. They get shorter around the face, on these bulging cheekbones here. And you can use a stronger colour, or a stronger white in this case, to show something that's rounded out towards you, like uh, the muzzle. The tip of the nose is going to have a fairly good backlighting almost. And around the chin. Create the sort of almost the wolfy smile there. And underneath the chin too. Uh, also what I'm going to do is add a little bit of white on top of uh, the orange on top of the head and the back of the neck to create a really pale orange. Well, this is really going to stand out quite well when we're finished. It's going to really pop up against the black. And on the top of the nose, a little bump in the nose there. So you can see on this method allows you to make subtle changes, uh, refine the details bit by bit as we go through. Now the eye. So the eye is going to be looking out towards our right hand side. We want a little hint of the iris there. And then the back of the eye behind the the pupil, there's the corner of the eye, just a bit of orange and a bit of white over the top. And then we're going to have a hint, let's put a reflection in now, or a hint of a reflection, so we can see where our fox is looking. Bring that in. They do have slit pupils, so we'll make that pupil as slit as we can. That'll do. And now we'll, we'll start using the black. Now we could use the black to get rid of some of the lines around the outside, but it's kind of slightly different black than the card, so I wouldn't do that. What I will do is start to tidy up other shapes, like the eye, the eyeball. So look for the dark inner corner of the eye there. And a little curve of the upper lid out there. And then the shape of the lower part of the eye, lower part of the orbital socket, going down into the tear duct. So we see we've now added quite a lot of definition to the eye in a very, very simple way. And the nose will be roughly the same, so what we want is I'm not going to show the nostril too much, I'm just going to hint at it about there and shade that shape in. It will stand out a little bit off the black card, which is uh, not a bad thing in this case. And then the shape of the mouth. Yeah, just loosely sketched. And we'll do the ear, back of the ear. And that will get rid of some of these uh, rough working out lines. A bit around the centre of the ear too. And then we'll go back with our colours. So back with the orange. Um, so using the layer of orange and white I've already got under, under here, I'm going to put a little bit more pressure on. And this is going to give me quite a, 
significant boost to the colour and you'll start to notice now that it really stands off that black card very very well Let's just check the shape a little bit more rounded and what we're thinking is this light is coming from the right hand side early morning or sunset whichever you prefer and it's catching obviously the shape of the other head a little bit above the eye or anything else you think that might catch so anything that's jutting outwards now a lot of this is going to be loosely scribbled again just to show uh, the texture of the fur, even the short fur, there are some gaps in between here and there. The cheekbone or the lower part of the orbital socket again, that's going to catch the light and help to show that's a rounded shape rounding out towards you. The bridge of the nose. And yeah, just pressing on a tiny bit more each time to help create a more dramatic highlight. And we might put some more white on top of that soon. Short fur on the bridge of the nose, of course, so not too many gaps in there. Keep it relatively smooth. And of course, we want some fur around base of the ear. Again pressing on these clumps of fur that I suggested earlier on with the initial sketch. Now I can just refine them a little bit. Even pull out almost individual hairs that are just catching the light. This is on the, the orange fur, the reddish orange fur of course. Clumps of fur going all different directions. Some going up like that, and you see what we leave in between are the shadows in the fur. And that's the great advantage of working on a black surface. You can use that black surface to automatically create the shadows that you would otherwise have to put in with a black pencil or a black pastel or black paint, something like that. Just get some nice thick fur along the back of the neck. You know, you can always imagine that the, even the white fur will pick up a little hint of, you know, the colour of the light that's shining on it, sunrise or the sunset. And we'll let the rest of the fur fade out there. So we're going to go back to our white in a minute to do the final highlights. Just a few more hints. Orange, subtle orange here and there. Okay, so we use black at the, at the very end in this case. When you're using uh, black paper, it's always better to use black at the end just to tidy things up. So the white in this case is used to brighten the orange a little bit further to make it stand out. as well as catching the edge of the pale fur inside the ear. And if it comes out too, too white, too strong, then you can always go back, put a bit more orange over it, like in this case. So I have a little bit on top of the Cheekbone there. And help define the bridge of the nose a bit more. And 
and around the nose. And what I want to do is suggest lines of whisker follicles by just adding a little bit of white in between. And we can actually put those in with the black in a few minutes. So again, a little bit stronger towards the nose end where the light's catching it more. Maybe a little bit of a highlight on top of the nose. A bit more along that cheekbone. And then pick out some of the white fur highlights. Maybe a little bit, a few little strands of hair along the back of the neck, make it look a little bit more realistic, not so neat. Okay, so let's have a final dab of orange along the chin and the front of the mouth, shining against that white fur. You really, you really do want to make it stand out as much as possible, that's the whole point. Got that nice strong colour there, you might as well use it. And that's a final little bit of detail with the black. So for example, you can pop in some of these whisker follicles, even some whiskers if you want. Strengthen the mouth line and the final details strengthen the eye of course and you can always create more shadows in the fur texture if you need to you can always use the black to go over some of the orange to subdue it. For example, in this side here, away from the light, you can use the light very gently just to subdue the orange a little bit more, almost make a sort of reddish brown, and leave the stronger orange where the light's catching it. A little bit more texture in the fur as well. Subtle shading in the pale areas on the face. And more texture in the white fur, perhaps. Let that fade out. And finally, of course, anything you want to get rid of. Initial sketch lines. Use a needle and eraser. Clean it up a little bit. a nice clean highlighted edge and let's just have a little bit more fur coming away from the ear I think something like that and we're just going to take a little bit off the handle of the head be a bit of a perfectionist, I guess. But ultimately, if I remember, it's, it's a sketch. A study of a fox's head. It's not meant to be photorealistic. And all about playing with the colours, the highlights, the very simple, vibrant colour of the orange here. And as you can see on black paper, you can get different shades of orange, almost, almost working it into a brown. And if you want to, you can make it really vivid. Use the white to make items 
area stronger. Bring the chin a little bit rounder, maybe muzzle a little bit rounder. And then we'll probably call it a day on this one. Yeah. yeah. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, little sketch or sketch of size, you could probably call it. And don't forget, you know, have a go yourself. Get a piece of black paper or black card. Just uh, a nice bright uh, orange coloured pencil, black and white one, and have a go. And you'll be pleasantly surprised at what you come up with, I'm sure. So thanks for watching. Catch you again in the future.